Hello everybody, we are back with another episode of Translating Love. Translating Love. <laughs> with me, Cornish. And the Rubber Boys. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's Cornish and the Rubber Boys. Danielle, that's a band. I'm Cornish. You can't Wolfgang, be the Rubber Boys. Wolfgang made up a, a band called Cornish and they the Rubber didn't, Boys. They didn't make up a band. It's a real band. Google it. Sometimes, like, I would ask him. Google it. If, if a really good, like, classic oldie song comes on, I'm like, ooh, yeah. It's Cornish. And I'm like, who, who is that, Wolfgang? And he's like, it's uh, Cornish and the Rubber Boys. Yeah. For some reason, that's what came out of his mouth. So that's one of, our running joke. One of their famous songs is Let It Be Cornish. <laughs> Let me be Cornish. No, let it be Cornish. No, nah, you said let me be Cornish. No, the first let it time. be Cornish. Then you changed it. Let it be. Have a recording. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be Cornish. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially the song. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, last week. Hey. Last week's episode, huh? It was awesome. It was a burner. A burner. So a, I don't know if that's a good thing. No, it was pretty good. Pretty it was, good. It was flame. It was, no, it was gnarly, it. man. It was gnarly. What's all the things that people don't say anymore that um, make us old? It was fire. No, Fetch. I mean that's what still people say. It was, it was dope. Fire no. is still a thing. That's I still think cool. Dope is still a thing. It is fresh. <laughs> it is uh, dapper. Yeah, but things from like when we were younger. Oh, I mean, I we only know say. some German things. Oh yeah, that's true. S- super duper. You, you would say super duper? Yeah, super duper that's, cool. That's something you say in the U.S. as like a four-year-old or something, yeah. like super duper. <laughs> Look, mommy, I can eat my own poop. Super duper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways. And the circle closes. No, but it was a really good episode. If you haven't listened to awesome. it yet, you should listen to this episode. It was episode 34. Sure. Called... How to lose a leg and still be awesome as fuck. The coolest fuck. A cool as fuck. And my mom is the special guest on that episode. Right. Because my mom lost her leg when she was 18. And she's still cool as fuck. And she is cool as fuck. And basically, to summarize the podcast is, you don't need a second leg to be cool as fuck. <laughs> but why? You could say it more like profound, like, you don't need two legs to stand on both feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You don't need two legs to manage life's hurdles. Mine's better. I uh, guess it's better. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, just a little disclaimer. I have a little bit of a cold, so I don't know if my voice still sounds different. It sounded weird no, this morning. It doesn't. I'm really hoping I don't sniffle a lot. It seems to be that the sniffles are mostly gone now, but just in case that, you know, I'm not just like gross and making gross noises on purpose. <laughs> she does that on... <laughs> Uh, on occasion, off mic. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a cool episode last week. So you should t- t- definitely check it out. <laughs> you should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, um, besides the cold, how are you doing today, huh? I'm good. I had quite a lot of massages today. At the um, strip club or where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, at the strip club. No, I had a lot I had a lot of massages today and my patients were all super nice. Mm-hmm. I got some really nice feedback from one of my favorite patients. Yeah, that's nice. And she she said that the the massages are really helping her and she's like always like amazed how good she feels the they, week they after would, I do it. Your massages will help me too, but don't even say that I never do it because it's at least three times a week that you get some form of massage from me. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? I mean, I'm fine. Besides the, I was super excited to go to the Czech Republic today to shoot mm. some some uh, remaining uh, scenes Footage. for for like this uh, image movie. Mm-hmm. We've you guys started. have been trying to do it for so long, and yeah. it's always been like, oh, the weather's bad, so then you I can't mean, go. First, or... it was the shutdown in, in, like yeah. in spring, and then we moved it, and then it was like, okay, I don't know if we can shoot there because I don't know uh, what like clearance they need or if for we like need drone to shots and stuff. stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was super, uh, super duper complicated. <laughs> 
Uh, yesterday we had, f or today we had finally like the perfect chance to do it, mm -hmm. but something else came in the way. Yeah. Um, and so we couldn't go, yeah. but maybe next week. So we'll I see. cross my fingers to finally finish that. That mm -hmm. would be cool. That would be cool. Um, but otherwise you're good. It was, it was a good day. It was pretty slow. I got like good food after work. He also home. surprised me when I came home and there was a, he's like, I got you something for your massage room, which is basically done. We we were working on it basically all of July and August. Mm -hmm. um, and it's finally essentially done. And I just got like this infrared heating panel, but it's not, it's really nice, but it's not really heating the room the way I want it to mm -hmm. in terms of like the whole space of the room. And so I, I came home today and he said that there's something for me in the massage room. And I went in there. A little space heater. And it's a little space heater, but it's a really nice one. It's super quiet and it's like really tiny but powerful. And yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. So that was, that was a nice That's how nice I am. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we have like a little fun episode because we thought, uh, let's do something fun and not super like serious. Because, you know, we have this list of topics you mm -hmm. have to know. We have this list of topics we like oh, let's do this one. Or maybe we invite someone to do this one. And yeah. most of those topics are like se more serious. Yeah. I mean, we try Not to... Not always like downers no. or something, but just more serious topics. That, serious topics. That, I don't know. We try to basically, I don't know, make every topic as fun as possible. But obviously there are some topics yeah. um, that are just like not as fun. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, hey, let's do something fun today. Um, and so we brainstormed or maybe, or you brainstormed a little <laughs> bit. And I mean, we came up with this idea of like, I don't know. I basically found this, this website that, um, has just like a bunch of questions that you can ask your partner right. and some of them are fun. Some of them are more serious. Some of them are like lovey dovey. And so I thought it'd be kind of nice if the two of us like not all of the questions because there's a lot of them but just mm -hmm. went through ones that stood out to us yeah and answered them together and you can do that along with your partner so you can yeah. basically grab your partner right now and then when we ask the question pause the podcast and try to answer them yourself yeah and see see what your answers are and if I you don't have a partner you can also do it with your cat or your dog or sure. your pet whatever but i would recommend that you if you once you hear the question that you pause before we give our answers right. not that your answers are in any way influenced yeah. by ours you know that it's genuine and that it comes from you and yeah right but that's yeah so but the, but the main idea of that is to improve a uh, communication quality i mean we talked about Which it overall a lot. improves your, right. your life life in general because like life is you know busy and you get stressed and then mm -hmm. you come home from work or whatever you're doing and you obviously slip into something comfortable some something wide and you're naked underneath and then you snuggle up on the couch and you know your naked body is <laughs> rubbing inside of the really nice cozy clothes like i feel like you're trying like to a, do some weird like no i'm not like danielle sexual i'm not danielle that's what happens <laughs> people do that so they're like in their really comfortable robe or or something like that and yeah. underneath they're naked Obviously, because that's what you do. Yeah, but you don't like that. Because... No, I don't. Psht, psht. <laughs> Let me finish. So people come home and do that and blah, blah. And they sit on the couch and they watch TV. And then obviously you watch TV and then you go to bed. Maybe you have like a little hanky panky or action in the bed. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Or mating or. <laughs> coitus. Coitus. <laughs> the old, the old uh, the hiding, old, hiding the. Old the genital slap. <laughs> The old hiding the gherkin. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but there is no like, sometimes you have to make room or time to communicate and with phones in a way or like, you know, you have plans, you or go just to routine dinner. It's just, stuff. just, you know, it's hard to sometimes come up with topics out of your head to talk about other than, hey, how was your day? Mm -hmm. um, and especially if you have been with someone for a longer time, there's this routine that you kind of, fall into sometimes and you sometimes don't really even acknowledge the fact that that could be nice sometimes to just mm -hmm. you know 
uh, switch up the mood a little bit or switch up the the conversation a little bit. So that that was basically our idea of that. Yeah. So each of us will basically ask a question, um, and we'll pick it randomly. So you start. I should start. Yes, please, sir. Okay. Um, okay, here's a cute one. How often do you think of your partner? So how often do you think of me? Like, so now like, I, I guess that means not when we're together. Like during the day or? Yeah. I mean, once, <laughs> once. <laughs> nah, I think about you almost all the time because you always text me and it's that's kind of annoying. That's not true. And I'm like, good damn it, the woman. Hey, this whole thing is we're supposed to be nah, honest. I think about I you a lot. If I'm super deep into my work, I'm not because I'm I mean, focusing on something else. But other than that, I think about you. I think about like, what should we do tonight? Blah, blah, stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. How are you doing right now? And stuff like that, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Um, do you feel jealous if your partner hang out, hangs out, if your partner hang out with a friend of the opposite sex? Hangs out. Hangs out. Yeah. Do you feel jealous if your partner hangs out with, the, with a friend of the opposite sex? I mean, we talked about that one in Jealousy. Oh, yeah. That was now a good you, one, too. Now you're bringing up, like, not lovey dovey stuff. <laughs> I um, mean, that's what part yes, of Yes. Yes. If I'm on. But it depends on the person for me. If it's if it would be an ex of yours, yes. Um, but if it's somebody that I know really well, I mean, no, I don't feel jealous. Unless they're super, super duper gross looking. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, no, but otherwise, I, I I say no. I'm not unless it's like an ex or something. Mm -hmm. then, then that would not be the best for me. Can you recall the most romantic moment with your partner? The most romantic moment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, I think our wedding it was pretty romantic. It was romantic, but is there like a specific moment? Yeah, the the when we um, uh, when we pooped together the first time as <laughs> man and wife. No, no, the 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 when we were reading the the vow, vows. Vows. Yeah, vows, vows. Yeah. Yeah, that is romantic. Yeah. Um, have you seen us? I guess if you've seen us, um. Or each other. I mean, it's hard to ask that question because they're directed to myself and not yeah, to you. Yeah, but just ask okay. it and I... Have you seen each other at your best and worst? Yeah. I mean, sure. I, I mean, I guess I've seen you at... That's. I mean, I, that's kind of hard to say, actually, if you really think about it. I mean, that's I, hard. I assume that I have seen you at your best and I also assume I've seen you at your worst. I actually mm. think I know that I've seen you at your worst. And... I, I can also hope and assume that I've seen you at your best. Nah, I'm keeping the level low <laughs> to always. So it's easy for me to improve. <laughs> I see. That's my, that's my, you know, the minimal effort, maximum outcome. And then you can just raise the bar mm -hmm. a little bit and everyone's like, <gasps> oh, he's so nice. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And in, in fact, it was no effort at I all. I see. Yeah. That's nice. No, but but I think that's an interesting question because when you are with someone, you've I mean you have seen a lot of their sides mm -hmm. and you have experienced a lot with them. Um, but when you're super open with yourself and talking about like I don't know uh, your mental health and how you're doing and stuff like that, I think I think it's pretty interesting how how well you get to know someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a good one. Um, I just lost the number. Oh, there it is. How do you feel when others find your partner attractive? So how when if someone finds you attractive? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice for you. <laughs> I couldn't care less. Okay, what if it was one of your friends? I couldn't care less. That's interesting. Yeah. The thing is what I don't like if someone gets handsy. But I think that's pretty normal. I think that's normal too. But I, I mean, none of your friends would ever get handsy. There has been <laughs> a moment I can recall. <laughs> Me too. I don't want to talk about it here on the podcast. Let's just say the person was very drunk. 
yeah. very drunk yeah. and doesn't even remember it. And so neither of us are going to embarrass yeah. him by saying anything. Um, how often do you talk on the phone with your partner? I mean, that doesn't really apply to us that much. We live together, so why do we need to talk to each other on the Danielle, phone? Danielle, you text me all the time during the day. That's not true. You're working. I'm like, how is she texting me? Um, can I tell you? Do today, you have do you massage with one every hand and text time you, me with the other? Every time you have texted, every time we've texted back and forth today, you have initiated. Except for when I said good no. morning when I wasn't even at No, work that's yet. not true. Because in, yeah. now in the afternoon you texted me. I'm at the front desk right now alone. Yeah, very quickly <laughs> to tell you the scary thing that's happening. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I understand if you have time and you can look at your phone. I mean, I do that too. But we text frequently. We talk I mean, we frequently. Text frequently. But it's not just me. You text me too. It's not true. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> no, true. Yeah. Um, but talk on the phone. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. We talked on the phone I mean, I the wouldn't. other day, but just usually we talk on the phone if like but one I of wouldn't. us is not reachable through text and we need something. But or, I like, would. Hey, I are would. Going to the store? In this sense, I would talking on the phone also count towards texting. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't make some, some, no sense. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting to know your response to this one. Do you believe in staying with this partner for a very long time or even forever? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the 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 word forever or the like either. staying together forever because I would hate being still married to you and I die. <laughs> kidding. No, but but I don't know forever. It's, it's nice. just like such a d dumb word because nothing's forever and that's what I like about life. Mm -hmm. That's that everything's gone at some okay, point. Okay, but then don't focus on the forever part. But but sure, I mean we're married, so hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even though I like the sound of being divorced, no, I don't. <laughs> well, that's good for you because I'm already divorced, so you you're married to a divorced woman. Yeah. So that should bring you that thrill that you. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> um, are you positively affected affecting each other's lives? I mean, I would hope so. I, I can only answer for for if you. I am yeah positively. Affected. You definitely positively affect my life. How? I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, you affect my life in a lot of ways. I mean, you've taught me a lot about love, and you've taught me a lot about um, patience, <laughs> and you you push me all the time to be like a. Like you believe in me, you know, mm. when I don't believe in myself on so many occasions. I just want to say you basically never believe in yourself. You always doubt yourself that's in not the first. True. I mean a lot though. No, that's not true. There's always this but but what if there's always this thing. Yeah, but that's a what if that's not like I doubt myself. I mean there is a little I, doubt in there. Sure there's a little doubt, but it's yeah. not like I I I never doubt that I can do something or that I can finish something. It's more that I I get concerned, like, what if this person doesn't like me? Or what if my new boss doesn't like me? Or what if I, you know, I don't know. What if my German's not good enough to get this job? Which is not necessarily self-doubt. It's a little self-doubt, but it's also my German's not fluent. Mm -hmm. And maybe they want somebody who's fluent, you know? That mm -hmm. would make sense in the medical field. That's true. So, yeah. That's true. I mean... I think that's that's something that you need in a relationship or you should have at least a little bit you, you, that you push each other. Mm. Because if you're with someone who <laughs> is as like, I don't know, if you start something or if you want to do something and then it, in five minutes and you're like, nah, um, and that person is like, okay, nah, then what's the point of, I don't know. I mean, sure, you can leave something laying around for some while, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't like this attitude of, oh, I'm not even going to try it because I would fail anyways or or stuff like that where, I don't know, you have this attitude of not putting the work in. Mm. Um, even though the outcome would be probably amazing and awesome and would feel good and would maybe improve your life even. And with pushing each other, it's kind of a nice thing, even in a good direction where you improve yourself being in the relationship, improve your faults and try to work on them and stuff like that. Because if you have a partner who never points out those things, 
how would you be able to improve them? Like, yeah, if you imagine true. if you're being at work and you would do really shitty work, but your boss would just like not say anything and keep you and you don't even you don't even know that you're doing shitty work mm. like with your if you if you would massage so horribly but nobody would say ever anything <laughs> how would you be able to improve that right so because you can't massage yourself so I mean, you can uh, but, yeah, not, but not to that extent not to, it's it's the same as like if somebody else tickles you it doesn't tickle as much if you do it yourself in right. that same spot right because it's a it's like a brain connection like so, you know that you're doing it i think it's good to to get like some constructive criticism sometimes and to be pushed and to mm -hmm. also in, like in a good way like hey you should do that or you should go along with that new feel or a hobby or mm -hmm. whatever you know so yeah how do you show it's my turn no it's my I turn no you just asked the question if you think that your partner oh has yeah a, it's has, your turn it's my turn <laughs> um Ooh, are you keeping any secrets that you're afraid of letting your partner know? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I don't. I, I, I think I don't. But that's a silly question because if you ask it, what would what would asking that question make you? Like, why would asking that question make your partner know. all of a sudden be like, yes? <laughs> I mean, maybe you say yes and then the other person is like, what? And it's like, no, I'm not telling you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. It's true. So you're not keeping any deep, dark secrets no. from me? No, no. Unfortunately, I would like to have like a really, really dark <laughs> secret. Like I've killed a man or something like mm. that, you know? Yeah. Something really dark, but I don't. Do you have a really dark secret? Does that count as your question? Hmm? Does that count no. as your question? No. No, I don't have a dark secret. I would tell you everything. Okay. Uh, My question is, how do you show your love for each other? We talked about that in love languages. Yeah, if you haven't listened to that episode, you should listen to it, and then you <laughs> you will find the answer. Is that what you're going for? Nah, there? but but it's I mean, a good reference. I I show my love to you in the way that I know that you feel it, which is either by small gestures, like small. I mean, you like gifts and things, and they don't have to be like super expensive things. But like once in a while, I might surprise you with something small. Or I do things for you around the house, like I clean and I, yep, I cook nice. and, you know, nice. stuff like that. I, I try to do those things because I know you really, that's how you, like, feel love. Um, but I don't know. I also tell you I love you a lot, which I know is not how you feel love, but I like to say it because that's how I feel. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, do you think there's something else I do that? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> No, but I mean, we talked about it. I feel I feel love like this, and I show you love like this a little bit too. Mm -hmm. But I also try to be more affectionate, like stuff, closeness, and mm -hmm. holding hands and that shit. That <laughs> shit. Um, do you feel that your partner accepts accepts the way you are? No. <laughs> you constantly want to, want to change me. Yesterday you said I don't like your name. Change it to Marcus, and I'm like I don't want oh, I don't to call like Marcus. Name. Sorry for anyone named Marcus. <laughs> I do like the name Marcus. Marcus Phoenix. No, Shout that, out. That really. No. That's the question. I do. That's it. No, I mean, you you try to to make me better. You try to push me, but you accept accept. Accept. Accept me as the boy I am. <laughs> the boy. The boy. The rubber boy. Cornish and the rubber boy. No, boys. I'm one of the rubber boys. I thought you were Cornish. No, I'm not. I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, uh, I had one, sorry. Wait. Uh, do you respect each other's beliefs? I think so. Because I think for the, I mean the most part for the most part I think we have the same beliefs. I mean you're deeply right in your politi <laughs> political Let's agenda. Let's not put that out there because that's one hundred percent not true. No. Nah. By the way, I voted today. That's good. Um. So if you haven't voted yet, or if you're not able to yet, obviously you can't yet. But when you're able to vote, vote. And I think some states make sure you're registered. To in vote. some states, you are able to vote uh, earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but it's really important. But it's only for U.S. So. Yeah, right now I'm talking specifically to the U.S. Or Viennese right? people who have the Bürgermeisterwahl in Vienna. Mm. Vote please, wisely. Please vote. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we respect each other. I mean, we have pretty similar beliefs because otherwise so we wouldn't be together. I think, I don't know, I, I, I've, I've seen relationships in the past where people had like, for, for example, completely different uh, um, views on politics. Mm -hmm. Like they were, they well, were either mean, completely left or completely right. And the other person was the opposite yeah. or like in the middle. And that caused always trouble. Um, but I also seen like other things like, um, for example, vegan, non-vegan. That's also something that, that, so hard. that is hard, especially if if um the non-vegan is more pushing towards like he wants to eat whatever he wants um i could kind of see vegan and vegetarian working yeah but even that it depends on on how the the vegan person is if mm. they are doing it for, more for the environment or if they're doing it more for the animals because if you're doing it more for the animals i could see why that wouldn't work if yeah. you're doing it more for the environment, I could see how that could work a little better. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But that brings me to my next question. But you... it's my turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you can ask yours if you want to. Yep. Do you make sacrifices for your relationship? I think so. What, like? Well, it's hard if you get put on the spot. I mean, I took, like, some jobs in the past that I didn't like. Or I did things that I didn't like so I could be, like, financially supportive, obviously. Um, that's a hard question when you're on the yeah, spot. That's a hard question. I don't know how to answer that. I mean... I mean, I, I know that I make... I mean, I moved here. <laughs> right. That's a big... That's, I just want to say that. That's, I'm, like, your biggest sacrifice I'm ever. I'm super far away from my family, and that's really hard. And... You know, the, the you longer know that else we're here hard? and the <laughs> huh? yeah, the microphone. No. It's made of metal and stuff. Poop should be hard. It shouldn't be too hard though. No, but like the proper hardness. Um sorry. But no, I think I think the the I think I sacrificed I think that sacrifice is continuous because no, it is. Sure. as we start to think about having kids and stuff, I also think, okay, we're probably never going to go back to the US, which honestly going back to the US is is not something I'm super like keen Especially on. right now. But my family is there and that makes it obviously appealing to mm. be there. And when I think about having kids and my parents not being around, that's that's really, really hard for me to think about. Mm -hmm. So I think in that sense, that's a massive sacrifice. But I think I also make a little sacrifice. You do. I mean, I think but it's that's, hard to think about. That's that the, the point spot. of being in a relationship. If like it's a give and take thing, kind of, even though I don't like the term, mm. um, because it's more bringing everyone brings something to the table. Um, and sometimes you have to sacrifice because maybe you don't get exactly what you want. Yeah. Um, and the other way around. Um, and that's that's not that's okay. That's life, because you won't um, find that person who gives you exactly one hundred percent that what you need and want all the time. Yeah. And the other way around. So I think there is always a sacrificing something at least, um, and sometimes bigger. Obviously, if you have to move somewhere because the other person can't move away, or you just choose to do that, then that's obviously a bigger sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or leaving your kids behind because you don't like them anymore <laughs> 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 or going into the woods with your kids and leaving them there nah but you know i think you get what i, mm -hmm. get I mean let's do one more i have two more okay <laughs> um the first one have you ever thought about cheating on your partner no 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 never no the thought has never crossed your mind not once no oh for me but that's nice <laughs> i mean i hope so <laughs> Yeah, but I think it. I don't think it's uncommon to have the thought of cheating. Up, of, of like, I'm going to, or nah. I. What would it be to cheat? Or what nah. do you mean? I mean, like, if you. I mean, this is okay. This is how it was in my my past relationships. Before you, I thought about it more frequently. Like, but how? Like, I want but to cheat, or I want to no, have sex with someone no, no, else. No, no, no. More like you. You fantasize about being with somebody else that's not your partner, but somebody that you know. 
Ah, oh, okay. You Got know? it. Mm-hmm. So in that sense, I think technically that's thinking about cheating on your partner because you're thinking about being yeah. with somebody who's Still not no. your partner. Still no. Still no. You've never had a fantasy no. about somebody else. No. That even that you don't know. No. Really? No. It's interesting. I'm dead of a saint. <laughs> But but I I asked that question because I also wanted to answer it mm-hmm. because I also have not in this relationship and I think that that really goes to show how important this relationship is in my life and how important you are to me and how much I have grown as a person myself because in my past relationships the thought was not I wouldn't say common but it came around in every relationship yeah, I mean, almost every relationship I had for me two ish at least at least at some point further in mm-hmm. and i mean we're together now i've been together with you the longest mm. so that's good. Mm-hmm. It is good and the last one please sir the last one is do you look forward to your future with your partner yes <laughs> You. That was a kind of a long pause before you answered. Like you sighed almost before you said yes. Like yes. No, I didn't say it like that. But yes, I do. I do too. I I'm very excited for a future. I think it's. I don't know. I think we have plans that maybe don't go as planned in terms of timing how I wanted certain things to go. I have I mean, a feeling yeah. that certain things, and that's mostly because of this year. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like, building and stuff like that, obviously, is happening much later than we wanted it to. But I think, I don't know. I'm still excited for our future, and I think it's going to be very lovely if the world is not burning to the ground or if we don't die as a species then yeah that's what i think yeah so that's it (laughs) that's it um we will post the the link to the questions that we asked there's way more i think there's like 53 questions or something um but i think it's a nice starting point to have like a uh, interesting conversations with your partner and Mm -hmm. you might learn something about each other for us, I think most of the things we already know about each other, but um, yeah, I think yeah. it's still interesting and, and yeah. fun to talk about. So. Also, I, I really want to say thanks to everyone who's listening um, because I'm we're keeping track of the statistics and we're keeping we're seeing the the people who listen mm-hmm. or at least the numbers, and it's so nice to see them continuously grow. Um, and it's all because you share. A podcast and you um, link them or you post them whatever and it's we really really appreciate it because that's like our main goal to to be spread around if you like what you hear if you if you enjoy what you hear just please give us um, a follow or a subscription um, leave a comment or not a comment a, a rating a rating on apple podcast or stitcher and just share the episode or the podcast on your social media or whatsapp or wherever yeah please uh, if you like what you hear please do send uh share and rate the podcast um and other than that i think we're done we're done done so yes thank you for listening goodbye goodbye (laughs) 